Kay here, bringing another recap for Team WBT in their MLCW League against FYSB Unbuckled. Um, they came away with a two-star win. They did not get percentage overall, but still pulled off the victory. Going to go ahead and show the map for what FYSB did. Um, they did get an 11v11. And then, did they get a 10v10? They did not get any 10v10s. They did dip perfect. And we had one dip fail. And then cleared the 9. Both sides cleared the 9s without any dips. Uh, we will start off with showing two fresh Town Hall 9 hits at random. Uh, Trying to find someone we don't usually show. We will go with Of the Lord here. It is probably, oh, it is a hog attack, nice. Starting off with a funnel down here at about 7 with the Gollum and some Withers. Next one at a little right of 6 with some, another Gollum and some Withers. Probably looking to wall break in on the corner junction here. When the funnel set up, jump comes down, is using a jump to enter. Don't know why he brought in wall breakers. Uh, queen and some bowlers are going to end up walking, it looks like. Second jump comes down. Going to have to use king ability here soon. Queen walking around the outside with a couple bowlers. Pops king ability, poisoning the CC, ends up just being a hound, so it's not going to do much to his kill squad in the core. Getting good value out of the queen walking around, just because she's not popping the hound and getting distracted. The hound is stuck on a gown. Starting up his hogs here at 12, just doing a two finger drop. Gonna heal around the expo. Um, still getting good value out of the queen. Gonna have to pop the queen ability. Using the poison on the skelly. Doesn't really need this last heal, but we'll probably use it around the bomb tower just to be safe. No, bomb tower comes down by the queen. Um, not much cleanup left in terms of troops, but dropping down a wizard over here at 9, and then swagging the heal spell on the outside Tesla. Queen's just going to walk around. Hound is still stuck on the golem, but will probably end up being targeted by the wizard here as it comes over to help with cleanup. Hogs and Queen walking around the outside. Just going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of this raid. Alright, nice attack. Show one more Town Hall 9. Who we want to show? Uh, we'll show Eduardo. He hasn't been on in a while. Eduardo coming in with a queen walk. Go Boho. Starting his queen walk at about 8 o'clock. Gonna try and walk her up towards 9 using a wizard and a couple minions to funnel. Down here at 6. And. A wizard and some arch and a archer up here towards nine. Queen should end up taking out the enemy queen, it looks like. And she should walk up in range here fairly soon. Gonna have to drop a poison and might have to rage the queen to get the exchange. Getting good value out of the minion at six. Being very patient with his kill squad. Oh, Queen ends up walking down, so he starts his kill squad in. Double poison, full poisoning the CC, rages the Queen to get the kill. Could have put a, placed a jump here on the King pad. Using some wizards to funnel in these trash buildings. Jump comes down. King and CC bowlers. Gonna be patient with this first rage a little bit and probably place it around the CC. Um, some bowlers may end up walking. Yeah, some bowlers end up walking. Rage comes down around the CC. King is going... is still good. 
Uh, second jump should come down fairly soon. Jump comes down. It's not going to end up redirecting the heroes. Heroes are going to continue to walk. But honestly, it's going to end up working on this base with both of them at full health with ability. So it really just comes down to being patient. They're just going to continue to walk. He's going to be patient with these hogs. And we'll probably use the hogs on the whiz tower and the bomb tower here. Healers switch into the king. Pops king ability to hurry up through these trash buildings. Healers switch on to the queen as she is now taking damage. Hogging straight down from five. Straight into the queen and the expo. Using a loon for this whiz tower. Nice attack by Ed. Alright, going to show a 10v10 here. Uh, where's the first one? Going to show number 11. Uh, yep, number 11 by Tiger Rule is coming in with a bitch attack. Starting his first flank here at 3, second flank at 6 with some healers behind both, using giants in the CC. Um, first jump will come down on this archer tower to connect the inferno compartment. Rage is going to come down fairly soon. Rage comes down, giants are going to take out this inferno tower just fine. King at full health too, so that's good value out of the giants tanking for the king just because they move faster. A good amount of bowlers I actually ended up walking using a baby drag to help take out some of these trash buildings for him. Gonna have to pop the king ability as he is being targeted by the single single inferno tower. Um, still getting good value out of the queen. It was distracted by the hound for a little bit. Um, getting good value out of both flanks. So it's going to come down to the queen taking out the core and this flank staying alive from 6 to 9. Popping queen ability as it is being targeted by the single inferno tower ends up trading with it. As she dies, not much left with all these skellies and witches. Kind of a lucky attack since everything ends up dying except for these witches but still gets the job done. Nice attack by Tiger Root. That's a dip. Another 10v10 by Conti. It's coming in with another bitch attack. See where he's starting his flank at. Starting his flank at 9. With some bowlers, which isn't a giant for tanking, it looks like. Other one, he's coming in with a queen walk here at 12. Golem comes down, using some more witches to get to the core. King, Queen's creating a good funnel. After this gold mine goes down, she should start walking down this wall. Using a skelly to distract the inferno at first. Rage comes down. Giant and Golems go in before, before King. So they will tank the inferno tower for the King. Is going to probably have to use the king's ability through the second inferno tower as he is ahead of the kill squad getting good value out of the queen walk and the flanks with the one healer and the bowlers and the witches um, king redirects and goes and takes out the inferno tower and then queen is just sniping out the outside defenses might have to pop the ability from the dps of the expo once the archer tower starts targeting her as well but the flank from nine to six just has so much and now the king at full health as well pops the queen ability um which is distracted on the hound in the core but at this point it's not going to do much using the baby drag to help with cleanup both heroes end up staying alive with the whole attack. Nice attack by Conti. Another 10v10 here by Diso. He is coming in with a Lalo, a Sui Lalo. Looking like he's going to use the two Skelly spells to kill the enemy queen. Drops the 
king for the queen to tank. Uh, so queen should funnel in to take out the air defense here at about 4 o'clock. She might walk a little bit from the looks of it. So, yep, she's going to walk. So he's not going to end up in that air defense he was trying to get. Uh, she may end up stepping up, actually, after taking out this Tesla. It's going to have to pop her ability here soon. Getting the Wiz Towers out, helping with the slash damage. King is doing a very good job over here with the funnel. But he's not going to end up getting that air defense. Queen dies, King dies. So now, we're going to start his wallow portion of the raid. Starting with some loons here from 6 up towards 9. Using the haste here, dropping another hound with some more loons behind it. These loons are coming in straight in at the Inferno Tower while it is distracted. Rage comes down, puts down a heal spell. Here comes the skelly spells to kill the enemy queen. Loons take out the Inferno. This, these double skelly spells should end up taking out the queen. And then another wall of portion coming in here at 12 and 1. Queen, enemy queen ends up dying. Still has a full hound in the core. Should pop some back in loons for this last air defense. Overall, just a nice attack. Just a couple explodes left. Not much left that's going to stop this amount of loons. Going to go ahead and fast forward through the cleanup. Nice tag by Diesel. That's a bit. That's a bit. No. Right. That will do for the 10 returns. Backwards. We will show the 10 v 11 uh, number one. Uh, taking out this mortar here with one loon and also checking for air bombs. Queen is coming down, putting some healers, and has CC healers as well. Um, uh, test wall breaker, using some more loons just to get out ahead and kind of take care of some defenses for the queen. Is going to have to probably rage up this queen here soon. Mm. Nope, Archer Tower ends up dying. Queen is just going to take out mainly this compartment. Speed forward through this queen walk a little bit. Getting good value and just an overall percentage out of the queen walk. Already at about 20%. Is going to have the pop ability. Ability is used. Queen is about to die. Queen ends up dying. King and some Velks come down here while breaking in. Going to use a jump. And gonna just heal through this inferno tower. Jump comes down. Gonna drop the first rage to speed through this compartment. Doesn't have to use that great of a funnel. Another heal comes down. Raging up through. Another loon coming here. Ends up just not getting value out of it. And is gonna use baby drags for the rest of the percentage. Velk's still alive up in the core. And baby drags just around on the outside getting the percentage. Nice attack. Goodbye, Andy. Alright, that'll do for this recap. I'll catch you guys in the next one.